The world is undergoing a technological revolution as we speak. All aspects of our lives from communication to transportation and health have undergone changes. As the saying goes, what was science fiction yesterday is science today. We are currently developing our skills in every branch of science, including physics, chemistry, biology, and engineering. That entails expanding space exploration, creating smart cities, and manufacturing new hubs, as well as creating quantum and artificial intelligence technologies. Though the extremely small physical components of change known as nanotechnologies, which are the basis for the revolution, are much of what you may not see. Technological changes can be observed. Although there are numerous uses for nanotechnology, three of them, materials science, nanomedicine, and device engineering are laying the groundwork for our future. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to prepare yourself for the future with our videos about emerging technologies and innovation. Your future self will thank you. Now, let's see how nanotechnology will change the future. Nanotechnology, what is it? Richard Feynman, a physicist who won the Nobel Prize, developed the idea of nanotechnology in 1959 while delivering a speech at the California Institute of Technology, or Caltech. The National Nanotechnology Initiative, NNI, has provided a more comprehensive and modern definition of nanotechnology. Let me explain it to you. Nanotechnology is the understanding and control of matter at the nanoscale, at dimensions between approximately 1 and 100 nanometers where unique phenomena enable novel applications. At the nanoscale, matter can display unusual physical, chemical, and biological characteristics that are distinct from those of bulk materials, individual atoms, and molecules, compared to other shapes or sizes of the same material. Some nanostructured materials are stronger or exhibit different magnetic properties. Others are more adept at transferring electricity or heat. Dr. Salucci, an early pioneer in the field, shared his insights on how nanotechnology is being incorporated into the creation of new products. Through a methodical approach to comprehending specific operational requirements and utilizing a specific technology development process, usable by both the government and the private sector, nanotechnology is currently being used safely to protect people and structures. With the help of this step-by-step -step procedure, it is possible to implement the commercialization of emerging technologies and gain a thorough understanding of the needs of the market. Material Science Through the application of nanoscale engineering, the private sector, the public sector, and academia are developing stronger, more resilient, lighter, and even self-healing, self-assembling materials. The design of molecular scale synthetic composite nanomaterials is currently being done at the interatomic scale. The ability to design and manufacture infrastructures such as bridges, roads, and buildings using stronger, adaptable, self intelligent, and seemingly mundane materials will revolutionize the construction and transportation industries. Many programs and initiatives in material sciences are currently underway at the Departments of Energy and Transportation. Moreover, nanoparticles utilize 3D and 4D printing to increase the material science. By utilizing material science creations, 3D printing is paving the way for future manufacturing. 3D printing refers to the process of creating three-dimensional objects layer by layer using computer-aided design software. The computer divides the object into flat layers that are printed one by one in order to print it. By printing with advanced materials such as plastics, ceramics, and metals, there has been a major breakthrough in medicines and sensors. The main advantage for the government is that 3D printing can be customized, produced quickly, and at a low cost. The applications for 3D printing are virtually limitless. Rolls-Royce has used 3D printing to create parts for its jet engines. And BAE Systems has stated that 3D printed fighter jets are now in service. Now that looks like a part of some science fiction dystopian. Nanomedicine Nanomedicine is already a thriving field. The phrase refers to the use of nanoscale materials to diagnose and treat diseases. Some researchers define nanomedicine as any medical product that employs nanomaterials smaller than 1000 nanometers. Others use the term more narrowly to refer to injectable drugs containing nanoparticles smaller than 200 nanometers. Nanotechnologies have greatly improved imaging and diagnostic tools, allowing for earlier diagnosis, treatments, and therapeutics. Nanotechnology is used to improve bone and neural tissue engineering. 
It also plays a role in the successful implementation of bionic eyes, kidneys, hearts, and other body parts. Advanced pliable materials such as plastic, ceramics, metals, and graphene are used in medical prosthetics. Nanoparticles are also being used to create gene sequencing technologies, drug delivery systems, and vaccines. Nanopore technology has become increasingly important in the field of life science and biomedical research, including genomics. To investigate biomacromolecules, nanopore technology embeds nanoscale holes in a thin membrane and measures the electrochemical signal. 3D printing with nanoparticles can also be used in medicine via bioprinting. Three-dimensional 3D bioprinting refers to the use of additive manufacturing technology to create living tissue such as blood vessels, bones, the heart, or skin. If this technology thrives and becomes publicly available, 100% beneficial and safe to use, then it will solve the biggest problem of finding a donor with a suitable match. Electronics Device Engineering Nanotechnologies have led to advancements in device engineering, resulting in smaller and more capable computers. Our smartphones demonstrate how far we have progressed in device engineering, thanks to microprocessors and chips used in electrical circuitry. Your smartphone has more computing power than the massive computers used in Apollo space program to send astronauts to the moon. Nanotechnology is used in electronic devices such as laptops, computers, cell phones, televisions, and electronic sensing. Also, for communications used in most modes of transportation, such as airplanes, trains, and self-driving cars. It is used in satellites that constantly monitor the Earth for environmental and security reasons. Wearables Wearables are a major focus of nanotech device engineering. These may include attachable, wearable, and embedded contact lenses, wristbands, rings, glasses, and ear pods. Wearable sensors are a new trend with limitless potential for performance, security, and health. Wearables are being researched and used in government-run health facilities to monitor health and provide real-time biomarker tracking. Wearable technology assists in the protection of those working in public safety. Firefighters can ingest sensors and data transmitting pills to monitor their heart rate, which will then send an alert to rescue a firefighter before cardiac arrest or heat stress occurs. Wearable headsets can even enable military personnel to view 3D maps of battlefields in real time. Applications for the future while one could argue that the future of nanotechnology is in its full swing at the moment, we have only scratched the surface. The convergence of nanotechnology and self-realizing AI, for example, has long been theorized for its potential benefits in predicting, resolving, and managing environmental crises, and space exploration by analyzing universal patterns and behaviors. Though still a long way off, the applications to eliminate climate concerns or develop new climate systems on otherwise habitable planets are quite plausible. Nanotech, which is expected to be worth $33.63 by 2030, is well on its way to becoming one of the current fastest growing sciences, not only because of its percentage increase, but also due to its ongoing collaboration with industries across the board and sharing budget of their market share. Nanotechnology's future applications are truly limitless, and living in this age of exploration is thrilling. Comment down below what cool application would you want to see in the future? Is nanotechnology risky? Nanotechnology has enormous potential to improve people's lives. The process begins by using low-cost, lightweight solar plastics, making solar energy more widely available. Nanoparticles have the ability to clean up toxic chemical spills as well as airborne pollutants. Specialists claim that nanomaterials may be used in space exploration. Despite these advantages, nanotechnology has a disadvantage. It is a new science, and we don't know what the long-term consequences of influencing nanoparticles in the environment will be. Nanotechnology is currently unregulated. Companies are not even required to label products containing nanoparticles. In fact, no recognized standards exist for the production and handling of nanomaterials. Many people are concerned about the potential impact of nanomaterials on our health, the environment, and ecosystems. According to some studies, certain nanomaterials are extremely toxic to algae, invertebrates, and sea life. Nanomaterials can even be transferred across many generations in animals and plants. We must stay vigilant and responsible with this new technology. People should share their knowledge with others. The more people who are aware of nanotechnology, the more likely it is that manufacturers will consider health and safety standards. Our planet comes first. Overall, nanotechnology has the potential to have a significant impact on our lives in a variety of ways, 
and it will be fascinating to see how it evolves in the future. However, with the rapid development of new technologies, it is also important to consider the potential implications and risks. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more of these amazing videos. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section about nanotechnology and whether it will revolutionize the world or not. See you next time.